Well, there was a situation where you were investigating a guy named o Onision? Yes. Tell me the story with that. So I started to explore the um, YouTube space and we had done some shows and stories and it was strongly suggested to me by a number of other content creators that I should investigate Onision, uh, Gregory James Jackson, who was very popular, had a big channel and had a big following amongst young women. And the allegation was that he had uh, preyed upon them, taken advantage of them, had inappropriate sexual contact with some of them, um, then engaged in bullying and harassing behavior. So we had a lot of those victim survivors on the show and, and it became, it got a lot of attention. And ultimately we did a, a series called Onision in Real Life, which just came out on Discovery Plus and that's out right now. Um, which is fascinating and very much worth uh, worth watching. Well, uh, YouTube ended up suspending his channel. It did, demonetizing his channel. Yeah, yeah uh, indefinitely. Correct. Uh, he ended up, uh, I guess, filing charges against you? Not charges. He he. We went out there about a year ago to get his side of the story. And we knew that he had been living away from his house. And we tried to find him for an interview. And ultimately, I did a, I knocked on his door. And mm. we television crews out there with us and I could hear him and he called the sheriff's department and and you know look he didn't answer the door he didn't want to talk fine I'd back off I've done hundreds of door knocks in my life it's not a new concept okay and so the sheriff's department shows up I explain what happened they go interview him everybody leaves and goes on their way we use the video on the YouTube channel ultimately it was also used in the in the series that's now on Discovery Plus he went to court filing his own motion for some sort of restraining order and it was dismissed it mm. was uh, you know is one of uh, the goofiest things i've ever seen and <laughs> well, well you've done hundreds of door knocks and you know people get on me for the, the type of questions that i ask people call me the feds and the police and, and so forth right. because in the hip-hop space right. you know hard journalism isn't has never been a thing but i don't know if i could bring myself to actually knock on someone's door just simply because of the the danger aspect of it because behind that door, you don't know what type of weapons exactly. a person is holding. Well, you, you have to you know, do some research. You have to be prepared if something does happen. That's why in Detroit, you learn to knock you know, on, from the other side of the door because okay. that's brick and that's wood. So if something comes through the wood, you're behind the brick. Right, I mean, you know, if someone knocks on my door that I'm not familiar with, I may have my pistol in my hand I mean, I've done it before, actually. <laughs> I've, I've had my pistol in my hand when I've some strange person's knocked on my door. Luckily, nothing's ever happened, but... What came out of that door knock, though, were dozens and dozens of law enforcement reports about events that had taken place at that house, including the near death of the couple's two-year-old child, mm. who, with both parents home, Onision, Gregory James Jackson, and his spouse, fell out of a second story window where the child was severely injured. And it was noted in the police report that Greg Jackson oddly took a video of the child before rendering assistance and continued to have texts with young followers in the whole process of taking the child to the hospital. Ah. So there were also other complaints and, and um, police runs to the house. It was, it, it, it opened a whole new, view into what was happening there too. So I think, I, I know what you're saying about a door knock and, and sometimes you need to, to go the extra mile to talk to somebody. Now he spins this whole misinformation campaign about no trespassing and this and that. And you know, the, the guy wouldn't know the truth if it hit him on the side of the head. He's delusional, dangerous. So you could legally knock on someone's Absolutely door? Absolutely you can. Why not? If they ask you to leave and don't come back, you leave and don't come back. I mean, you know, you have to do it appropriately. Okay. Uh, and it, but it's it's a time honored journalistic tradition.